Southeast governors. Proscribed IPOP for their own selfish reason. Hello viewers. Welcome to my noble channel. Namdi Azikiwe went to London on the invitation of the British Prime Minister. He came on live TV to sabotage the struggle of Biafra by tagging General Ujuku Erebe. After so many years, Ujuku died. Owazike came to the picture. Somehow, he was compromised. Later on, and the colonel came to the picture. And he was told to come back home if he's not afraid. And the gentleman came back home. He was arrested, tortured in different ways, disobedient of several court orders. And later on, he was released after so many years. But sadly, this group of criminals that we have in Ibo land as leaders did not learn anything from the mistake of Namde Azikwe. Rather, they prefer to do just exactly what Namdazikwe did. Because of their own selfish reason. They invited Namde Kano and told him to drop their fragitation. He told them that they should go and get him something from Abuja that he doesn't want their money. He openly told them things the Pierre France want. What are those things? International portal in Biafra land where you can fly from Biafra land straight to Europe of your choice. Seaport where Igbo San Biafrans at large can import their goods and it will come direct to their land instead of stopping in Abuja or stopping in Lagos. Monkey, the work, Babu, the job. Again, a good road and good electricity for the people of the eastern region to sell in their own land without going to Lagos or going to Abuja. But these criminals could not get a single thing. Rather, they came back, try forcing him to draw the agitation. And when he refused, what they did was to proscribe him 
and get in. The same terrorist military men that was recruited by Buhari from the flank terrorist and Bukhara into the land of innocent people who are just freedom fighters. And this was how the whole massacre started. Can anybody tell me what is bad? What is difficult? In just giving a support to those who are the highest importer. To get their goods direct to Eastern region instead of stopping in Lagos, passing through road, and their criminal terrorists they kept on the road, both the ones in uniform and both the ones without uniform, they are after all, they are all fighting for the same thing, finalization of Nigeria. But these men who call themselves leaders of Biafra continue to be selfish and self centered. You and I know how many people that was mowed down in the Kano's house before he was evacuated. These same evil men, and some of them in desperate, came together again and planned to draw him to Kenya so that they can be able to kidnap him because of presidency election because they want to be president. Namdi Kano is not a bad man. He has never been a bad man. He is a respectable man who believes so much in people's right. He believes so much in getting Biafra. Peaceful. But our people that call themselves leaders continue to use themselves to put barrier in this struggle. If you don't buy someone today in Germany, they will buy someone in Finland. If you don't buy someone in Finland, they will buy someone somewhere else to make sure that they get what they need. Time shall tell. The Biafrans didn't ask for too much. All they asked for is a good road. A federal government present in their land. Lagos was developed by the government. It doesn't matter if it's from British government or from the so-called federal government of Nigeria. The same thing to Abuja. They will never allow us to use our hand to make a support. Not that he was. And Biafra at large has no money. They cannot be able to achieve it if they really want to bring support in, in their land that their goods will be coming in from Europe direct into. But they will never allow them because they want them to continue to go to Lagos, to go to Abuja so that they will continue 
to rip them out. And a lot of them. People will come out and tell them to go. They will start shivering. Or they will go and say, please. After some time, the life of innocent people of Hebrew extraction will be destroyed. Small time that will end. Nothing will happen. Just like what just happened of written between the so-called MC Olomo and the innocent Hebrews who wanted to vote in Lagos and was moved down because of one man who is working for Bola Medinibu, a drug baron from Pit of Hell. A cabal. But Southeast governors made it possible for Igbos and Biafans at large to suffer this humiliation. Since they kidnapped Nam de Kano and he has been in DSS custody for two years, still counting, can they tell me how many things they have achieved for the Eastern region? Apart from betraying, betraying themselves. I look, I watch an idiot who call himself Imoni and his brother Kizzy. These are young men who call themselves Igbo men. They were openly praising MCU. Whatever they call him, MCU, Meru, Meru, whatever they call him. That name looks disgusting. This is why it's even hard to pronounce. They were praising him that he is a strong man. Is this, is that. This is a man who came out openly in social media to threaten Igbos. And after everything, he went ahead to execute his threat. And an Igbo man who claimed he is an Igbo man came out to praise him. Sometimes I wonder if Igbos make money, they become so stupid or something I don't know. That idiot, I used to know him when he had nothing. But today, he has money. He's rich. Stinky rich. No doubt about it. But he has the audacity to praise a man who ordered for the execution of his people in Lagos State. Because of election. Not because the, his people were doing bad then. Because they wanted to vote. Because they voted for B. Likewise, some other Yorubas voted for him. And tomorrow you will see him wearing a white habada. Wearing a red cap. Where are these bomb bombs coming from? Shameless Igbo men. A Yoruba man cannot do that. Present someone. Who murdered his people in cold blood. Because of election. This will tell you how stinking and smelling some Igbos are. I said it. These people we are talking about, when I started wearing rollers, believe me, they are still wearing short nigga. It's true, things change. Now, who know, know me before? Now, I go open my denyan of pata. I used to see him as a young man who has made it big. But with what he just did, 
I am not seeing him as people like these criminal governors who have in our land who has continued to frustrate innocent Igbo people. Time shall tell. They should listen to the canon. Igbo's betrothed Juku. And who did that? Nanda Zikwe. From the same part. I don't know why this people continue to betray Igbos. And today, the same Igbos has betrayed us in the camp. It's quite unfortunate. I think I've come to the end of this news. J. Biafra.